hello friends today we are going to see how to upgrade comvault version 11 from service pack 8 to service pack 12 so before that i need to uh, like show you couple of things uh, to upgrade uh, the service pack we need to uh, follow a few steps first one is we need to uh, always we need to upgrade a console server before upgrading any other uh, like a, a media agent or media agent server or clients or proxy servers so the order is first we need to uh, upgrade console server then media servers then clients so upgrade is, uh, we can do upgrades in two types one is uh, like uh, using the console console and one is using the uh, like setup our normal process using uh, like running the setup.exe uh, file whenever we run setup.exe uh, commvault uh, what it will do is it will check for the available components on the console cell server and it will upgrade the available components only so uh, com cell uh, like uh, commvault is very much intelligent so they design like that so whatever is required it will take care of the same and it won't disturb any other things for example if you are installing uh, if you are upgrading on a commvault com cell server then it will take off take care of uh, the things which are already existing on this if you are doing an upgrade on a, a media server then it will upgrade media server only it won't install any other additional components or it will it won't disturb any other settings or it won't do anything simply it will upgrade media server so this is a one method and second method like using com cell server so if you are going for a normal setup method what you need to do is you need to log into uh, ma.comwall.com site login with your credentials and you need to download the download the setup file Okay, so when you log into uh, ma.comvault.com, uh, you'll be able to see the screen. So this is the site. This is the site, and uh, when you log in, you will be getting an option to download, uh, like download here. When you click that, you will be able to see the available uh, service packs, like available uh, uh, setup setup files so you need to click on uh, uh, media kit and service pack to get the uh, configuration and setup files so when you click it it will take uh, uh, around uh, 15 to 20 minutes to download the things download the setup file so here we are able to see that service pack 8 is getting retired on September 15th and uh, service pack 7 is already retired so every three months, uh, 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 Commvault is uh, releasing service packs. So now the new service pack is 12. And that is only for the POCs and new customers. So they can go for it. So um, this is the screen you will be seeing to download uh, the setup manually. Uh, like if you want to install uh, manual, if you want to follow manual process, you need to download from here. So okay so for uh, using com cell uh, uh, console uh, you want to download the file you need to go to tools add remove software then go to download software once you go there uh, default it, it shows the latest pack available that is service pack 12 but if you want to go for lower version like service pack 11 or service pack 10 you need to select that service pack and just check for options 
if you only if you only want to download the file just select this if you want to download and sync with the clients then you need to select download and sync and then you can also schedule like uh, schedule the download if you want to do it immediately select this one and if you want to uh, uh, like schedule the download you can schedule it here by selecting the schedule option so nothing here to explain so you can do that once you select the required service pack and hotfix and click ok then what happens is download will start and you will be able to see uh, the job with the job controller and if you want to see the details of this job simply go to details and you can see that total size is a uh, total fi download files is 2701 <coughs> okay so the total size of this one is this this much so now it is 90 percent so once downloaded is completed you will be able to see that 100 percent so i will close this one now so once this is uh, uh, like 100 percent then we will go for installation process but before that I will show you one more thing like if you want to see the existing version uh, existing version on uh, in the in the cache what is the like uh, uh, if you want to install any, any client uh, uh, the, the agent will be pushed using the software cache so uh, the setup files will be available here you can change this configuration too you can like change it to D drive or whatever but always recommended to keep the software cache on on the same server comval server uh, comcell server on any other drive is uh, is fine so when you click cache details you'll be able to see the existing uh, version that is uh, service pack 11 is available now sorry service pack 8 is available now version 11 service point 8 okay so you can check it here and what is this option so delete cache contents is nothing but uh, if you want to clear the cache if you delete it entire cache will be cleared and you need to download it again so what is this commit cache so commit cache is nothing but when you download a latest version uh, before like uh, before it is moved to software cache it will be saved in a like it will be saved as staging i will show you that so the path of the uh, like the down part of the download is uh, this one like c commvault content store software cache cv media and this is the uh, software cache and the cv media staging is the is the share path where uh, like when we are initiated uh, uh, service pack 12 so that is getting downloaded here so before we uh, like uh, before we commit before we commit for uh, the cache it will be available here once uh, we commit it uh, this cache will be getting cleared and that will be moved to uh, cv media uh, uh, server cache and it will be synced with the database generally when uh, when we commit is if we if we configured on a different drive then we will go for committing the cache so default when we upgrade to service pack 12 uh, using the uh, uh, like when we when we go to the console server i will show you uh, when we upgrade service pack to uh, service pack 12 automatically this cache will be uh, staging uh, Staging cache, staging cache is, will be cleared and it will be moved to CV media once the upgrade is completed. So no need to uh, commit the cache at that time. Okay. So how to upgrade the things is very simple. Uh, we need to select the com cell server first. Right click properties. 
before that we will check it is on which version we already able to see that here so here also we can see the existing version is service pack 8 with all the hot fixes and these are the packages available on my console server need to be upgraded to service pack 12 as our cache is uh, our staging is with for service pack 12 it is showing a service pack 12 if you if you download service pack 10 it will uh, it will show uh, it as uh, like updates required for service pack 10 so here these these all will be up updated once we initiate upgrade so to upgrade we need to go to all tasks at remove software and click on install service pack and hotfix so i think still our download is not at oh it's completed fantastic so now the download is completed you can view the details okay everything looks fine so we will initiate upgrade you can do it from here or you can do it from here to all tasks adobe install service pack and hotfixes so when you click here it will dis it, it will list all the all the uh, agent all the clients as well as media service everything here you can select all and you can initiate the install uh, but uh, comvault uh, uh, like comcell uh, server is very much intelligent so it will first first initiate upgrade on comcell server only once the comcell server is upgraded then it will go for uh, media server then it will go for other clients so Anyhow, we will do only comcell server first. So here we have options like you want to reboot the server. Uh, it is always recommended to select the reboot. If you have a downtime, everything is set. Simply select reboot and select these things. Uh, this is uh, required if you if maintenance not done from last six months. So we can do this, but before that we need to do few things that is we need to check whether any uh, any jobs or any backups are scheduled in our environment at that particular time where you are going to upgrade the service pack and you need to disable the jobs first backup jobs if not the upgrade may fail so it is always recommended to disable the jobs first so when you want to see the jobs you need to go to scheduler you need to check for any scheduled jobs here see these are all scheduled but they are on, uh, these are all scheduled but let me see 620 now so no no job is scheduled now but they are on different times so we can ignore it here but still if you want to be safe we need to go to the console properties then active control activity control here we need to uncheck enable scheduler once you uncheck enable scheduler whatever the scheduled jobs are there they will be stopped but whatever which are running uh, at running at that time that that job should be killed or terminated once uh, the termination is done everything looks fine then we can go for upgrade so now i have disabled it now what we'll do is we will initiate upgrade
click ok and you need to mention anything you can mention simply click ok change control or input confirmed ok now I have initiated upgrade now so when the upgrade is initiated what it will say is the console will be closed soon click ok and you will be able to see the update here like the status of the upgrade it will take some time let's wait So the upgrade just started so it will take some time and then this console will be closed so meanwhile uh, I will show you the document for the process so this is combo site combo document so things you, you should remember is there is no rollback once you initiated service pack so can see that after the installation the service pack cannot be uninstalled that is rolling back to the previous service pack version is not available so you should plan it properly so here as I said sequence is mentioned like first we need to upgrade Comsum server then media server then client server and the space minimum space requirements also mentioned here and all, all the things like you can go through this document I will attach this document if required and uh, make sure that this Microsoft patches are already installed on the server before you go for upgrade so they mentioned couple of uh, uh, actions to be taken or taken care if you have any other uh, like relevant applications in your environment so uh, if, if you are doing it on a standalone server then that is fine if you have any DR server which is uh, uh, where your database is mirrored to the uh, to the uh, DR server in that scenario we need to follow few process where you need to uh, take care of uh, not updating the database so I will I will share that link also uh, yeah, in the in my video um, below the video so uh, let's see whether yes now it is started here we are able to see comment updates console where it's showing one person so based on your server uh, configuration the upgrade time will be like it will be half an hour or it may take more than that sometimes it will be less th less than that or that too so i will pause the video and i will show you when the upgrade is done okay so <clears throat> Now the update got completed. Let's log into console. So now com server got updated so the staging we was discussing last time that CV media staging will be uh, uh, will be moved to uh, the cache once the upgrade is completed so now the staging staging folder is empty and we are like when we go to the share 
we check the version see now uh, previously it was 11 now it is 12 so it got uh, moved so now the upgrade is completed let's check the version of commvault server now see now we are able to see commvault server version as uh, version 11 service pack 12 now so went upgrade went well everything looks fine if you go to the properties version now we are able to see version 11 with service pack 12 with the, the all the hot fixes installed so now the status for updates is nil the status is up to date so we will upgrade the client in my environment commodult 02 is a media server as well as commvault server commvault server so everything is done uh, so ad01 and win sans01 are clients if you want to upgrade entire environment we will go to commvault server commvault 02 properties and one more thing last time we have disabled schedules it got automatically enabled after the upgrade we are able to see that so no need to enable manually now we will go to add remote programs and install service pack and hot fixes we'll select all clients now including commvault anyhow commvault is already upgraded so nothing we need to do simply if you click ok and if you go to job controller we are able to see the install updates We are just waiting to see all clients getting updated. So it's now 29%. Let's see the details. Client status. See, commvault 0 is already showing us already updated and remaining all showing not establish a connection okay let me check whether servers are over down or not the server was powered off because of that it was showing as <coughs> able to connect So I am on AD01 and I observed that common services are stopped because of that it was unable to connect to the server. I have just started the services. So let's check.
So for win san 01, it's update in progress. So it will take some time, but it will be soon updated. So as I was discussing about, uh, so this is the process to upgrade service pack on Comval server. And if you, if your environment is uh, environment is having DR server with the database mirroring, so the process will be little bit different. So I, I went went through the Comval documents, and uh, this is the process to to upgrade service pack in in the environment where database is mirrored so this is the process where they mention like you need to connect to the database and uh, using the SQL studio and we need to connect to the database and uh, we need to remove the mirroring so this is the process I will be sharing the sharing this document along with my videos uh, so when you design, when you remove the mirroring in the database you need to run the command from the uh, from the setup folder where the setup is uh, is there so we need to run this command without updating the db it will it will update the comval server for, for service pack so that both comval DR server and production server will be a, on same page for DB. Okay, so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching.